welcome back to my channel it's me Peyton and it's vlogmas day five time is going by so fast I cannot believe Christmas is in 20 days already I feel like time is just going by even faster now that I'm doing vlogmas um but I just got up not too long ago what's going on my mom oh I just got up not too long ago and I took my dog on a walk I'm gonna give him his breakfast in a little while but he literally went back to bed y'all he is just so cute um but anyways um so the first thing I'm going to do, well, I already said a prayer. I usually do a morning prayer, and then I'm also going to read you guys the verse of the day, even though I already read it myself. But I have just been wanting to just get even closer to God, even though I already am closer with God. Um, I've just been wanting to get back to that and just um, kind of like just back like how I was with him. And just but anyways, let me go ahead and read the verse of the day to you guys and just kind of like explain it a little bit. Um, so this one is Deuteronomy 31 and 6, and this is the American Standard Version. This is the verse of the day from the Bible app, and the verse of the day for today is, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be affrighted at them. For Jehovah thy God, he it is that doth go with thee, and he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And what I got from that is, don't worry about anybody else. Don't be scared of them. Don't let them um, don't let them make you nervous or any of that because the Lord is with you. He's not gonna fail you, he's not gonna forsake you, he's never gonna leave you. You don't ever have to worry when he's by your side. And he's always by your side. So if you in a situation where you just feel like somebody's making you nervous or somebody making you feel scared or just a situation is scaring you, um, it doesn't have to be a person, you know, whatever it is, don't let it scare you. Or don't let the future scare you. Don't let people scare you. Don't let things scare you. Don't let anything scare you because the Lord is with you. He's bigger than everybody and everything. So what's the point? There's no need for you to be scared. That's basically what I got from that. And actually, I didn't, I don't know if I have it saved. But I actually read the verse that day yesterday and it was amazing because it just went with what I had been going through. Oh, it is here. This is the one from yesterday. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall and they shall walk and not faint. And that is Isaiah 40, 31. Also the American Standard Version. Um, and for that one, it was just, I feel like every time I read a verse of the day, it just goes with my life. Like, and you can do the same. You can literally connect it to anything that's going on in your life, any part of the Bible. And if you have the Bible app and you download it and you read them every day, I'm sure that you can find something in your life that it's relating to. So for me, when I heard that, I just thought about, um, how I'm kind of like working towards a goal right now. And I was at this point where I was just doing something to get to that goal. And I finally made it to a point where I'm starting. I'm starting to get, I, I'm trying to explain it without explaining it, without kind of like telling everything about it. But what I'm saying is I finally got to this point where I am beginning to do what I need to do in order to get to that goal. But I had to go through something first. So you basically have to... Um, work your way towards what you're going to end up doing even if you have to go through a rough time to get there or if you have to do something first before you get there sometimes you have to pass through somewhere before you can actually get to your final destination even if that passing through area isn't where you want to really be and I feel like you just have to wait on the Lord because he will renew your strength he's going to make you happy again he's going to make you strong again and the stuff that you went through even if it was rough and you just felt so tired and weak, you will get to that point where you get to achieve what it is that you want if it's what he has for you. And you're going to be strong in that. You're going to be happy with that and you're going to be confident with that. And the stuff that was in the past, you're going to look back and say, okay, that was just me passing through. I'm here now, you know? So that's basically what I got from those. Um, yeah, and I'm just glad I was able to share that with you guys because I do my, I try to do my verse of the day at least read the verse of the day every day I don't always make it to doing my or I don't always get to doing my 
not get to. I don't mean to say it like that. Sometimes I do not do my Bible reading, but I try to. I do try to, but sometimes I don't. Uh, and I'll admit that. Also, guys, one thing I'm doing this morning is trying on my graduation dress. It is literally so cute. Here is a dress reveal for those of you guys who have not seen it yet, which is literally basically nobody because these um we got these actually a while ago my name is on it because this one's mine my sister has the same exact one it is literally i love it so much i love the detail i love the ruching what i will say is me and my sister are going to give for our um, graduation now that i think about it these would have been so cute with a bob wig i could have canceled my appointment now but i have an appointment on the 18th and i plan on kind of like vlogging that day as well because i'm getting my hair done early that day and that's Kyrie's birthday probably go to my grandma's house later and stuff like that because I don't have work that day but I am off today I'm gonna brush my teeth in a little while but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and try this on and I'll show you guys I don't know if I want to show you guys how it looks on I don't want you guys to know like I don't I want to do like a review but I wouldn't mind if y'all saw me with it on because at the same time y'all still haven't seen me with my full look because when i go for graduation i'm doing my makeup i'm getting my hair braided and i'm also hopefully going to have my nails done i plan on also soaking these off today so you guys know it's going to be a good video today stay tuned uh, i tried on my dress it's so cute it eats down it eats down and i didn't even show you guys it because I just felt like it was giving too much to show y'all. Now, I want y'all to see the reveal. Y'all already got to see the dress, okay? <sighs> now, how it looks on, it's so cute. So, I did think about possibly doing a, um, what you call it? Oh, going for a run. I don't know yet, though. I am going to quickly wash my face, though, even though I might not run. We'll see. If I don't run, though, I plan on doing some kind of workout because I need it. Like, I really, really need to start working out again. I'm actually going to dry cleanse my skin this morning just because I feel like it. My skin has been doing pretty well. All glory to God, I did pray about my skin because my skin was really bad at one point. And it just, it's much better now. I, I was this close to messing up with vlogmas like and when I say messing up it's not like I would have messed up if I didn't do one day but like I almost didn't do one of the days because which would have been yesterday because I had work and I was gonna do a morning routine for you guys and that went out the window I started rushing so much that morning and I was like I'm not doing a video and so I did it and then you guys literally would have just been shout out because when I got home I was talking to my mom and stuff I was just like hanging around and finally, I was like, okay, this is what I can do. Post that cover. So I'm so glad I did. It wasn't a vlog, but it was a cover. And I think you guys would have probably enjoyed it. So I'm glad about that. Today's video is definitely going to be posted, though. And it'll probably be up early because I'm not going to do it. This isn't like a day in the life today. I'm just showing you guys. There's a few things that I'm doing this morning. Um, Maybe into the afternoon because it's probably already almost afternoon now. I don't know. All right, guys, so I actually decided that I'm going to go for a run. So I have my phone here, I have my AirPods in, and I'm just going to stretch really quick before I get out there. And then I'm going to listen to some music and do a run. I might do either a mile or a half a mile today. I'm not going to do a whole mile and a half because I just don't feel like I want to. But I'm going to try to do some other stuff as well after my run. Like I'll probably do some jumping jacks. I might even try some push-ups. And I'll probably do jump rope if I can find it. So, yeah. I need to get back to it. I need to get, I think I want to write down like a workout routine because I haven't been working out lately. So, I need to get back into it. Stretching my ankles now. Now. Hey guys, I'm back in for my run, and um, actually, I've been back in for a while, actually. Um, 
But I just came back from taking Kyrie from outside again for the second time this morning so he could use the bathroom. I might have to make myself just like a grilled cheese or something for breakfast. And I did a mile today. And, um, you know, I, my whole goal was to do either a mile and a half. I mean, just a mile or half a mile. I didn't want to do a whole um, mile and a half today just because I just didn't feel like it. And I just wanted to ease my way back into working out. And I do want to come up with, like, a workout schedule because I have been horrible at working out lately. I have not been doing, um, doing it like I should. So, hmm, I'm trying to figure out if I want to, like, cut these beds. These beds are so big. Anyways, Kai Kai is relaxing right now. Because he just got in from his walk. So burnt, but it's okay. I just dropped both guys. I'm just gonna eat that one that fell. God bless you, Jen. I'll give my sister this other one that didn't fall. I was gonna get her the other one because it was a little bit less burnt, but there's a rib. It's not like we don't have any more um, bread or cheese or anything, it's just. It's just that I'm not about to remake it when I just use two slices of cheese for one bread. For each bread, I mean. Just trying to scrape off some of that. Oh well, it is what it is. There we have it, y'all. Kansas, this is a little bit burnt, but. I'm eating it though. I hit the floor for a quick second. It's still good. So much lunch meat in this house. This is ridiculous. The funny thing is, I'm gonna probably act like I. Like in the video, I'm gonna just act like I didn't drop that um, thing. I kind of want some surf on this. How many people? 
pieces you got me. Mm -hmm. I guess so. I'm just putting a little bit of syrup on this, y'all. Now I have some ham with um, some syrup on it. This lunch meat, y'all. I totally forgot to give my dog a piece before I did that. Here's my sunburn. Because he does not That's need any I'm syrup. Favorite anyways. I remember to give my son. Comment down below if you guys just eat lunch meat like that. Or only like under sandwiches. And Kari, he will, uh, he didn't eat any, but he had meat this morning. Yeah, and he insists on having meat in his food. Mm-hmm. If, if he's going to eat it without, I don't give him any because I realize he doesn't need it. He literally looked at me like I was crazy this morning when I gave him his food and no meat. Mm -hmm. Here, Kai. Oh, but yeah. And he had like duck for his breakfast this morning. You want duck for breakfast? I mean, he likes all of those um, soft ones. He don't care what it is. I'm actually about to eat a little yogurt bowl that I made. So let me tell you guys what's in it. It's just some vanilla yogurt. I don't like when my iPad is like that. I want you guys to have a good angle of me at least. Ugh, so let me see if I can set it up somewhere. Okay. So I have my coffee here. I'm not going to eat any more of this um, grilled cheese, but mm, the coffee is good though. But anyways, I'm going to be eating a yogurt bowl or a yogurt cup, <laughs> whatever. So I just have vanilla yogurt, um, some walnuts, and some strawberries. Mm. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to show y'all me changing the um, little countdown to Christmas thing from 22 to 20 days before Christmas. It's the 5th already, you guys. I'm about to, um, I'm probably going to start, eat, I'm probably going to eat real quick and then soak off my nails. And I'll just set it up and show you guys that. And that'll pretty much be it for this video because I'm not really doing anything today besides maybe going to my grandma's later, but... I think you guys will get another vlog of us at grandma's house that will be for another day um because i want this video to go up a little earlier today but i just wanted to show y'all that cannot believe it's only 20 days till christmas okay guys so now i'm going to go ahead and soak off my nails and i'm going to start by just cutting them down first